urban sketching is an extremely positive art form. So we all love it. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to turn the meeting over to Hannah, and she's going to introduce uh, Jenny Zhang, who is our speaker today. So Hannah, thank you. Yes. Tonight, um, I'm very glad to, to have Jenny Chang as our speaker. Uh, Jenny is an uh, urban sketcher from Chicago. She works there at uh, an architecture firm, and she is has been a member of the USK Chicago group for, I think, since 2016, 17, right? Um, she has been also an instructor for the Chicago seminar. And I find Jenny's work very inspiring. Her line work, it's really expressive. And I admire her um, because even though she lives in a city where most of the time it's very cold, she always finds her way to keep sketching, like from buildings to restaurants, from people to museums, she never stops. So I'm very glad to have you tonight, Jenny. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Uh, can everybody hear, hear me okay? Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, like, um, um, first of all, hello, uh, USK Jackson View. Um, before that, I want to like highlight a little bit actually how friends from USK Chicago here and have friends from USK Beijing. Um, hello, everybody. Um, very happy to kind of um, making this connection in between different chapters a little bit. Uh, yeah, and uh, as what Hannah mentioned, uh, I am actually uh, an architecture designer. Uh, and uh, I kind of, um, uh, before like uh, uh, I, uh, having my uh, uh, graduate school, uh, I was, um, born in China and uh, grew up in China. Um, and then like I came to Texas A&M for my master's. And after that, I came to Chicago um, to work as a uh, architecture designer. Um, so uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm very thankful for this opportunity. Uh, I learned that someone just uh, uh, joined the Urban Sketcher family, so like, Tonight, I hope like um, what I'm sharing is like to be very uh, inspirational. Um, one thing I want to mention before I share my kind of the materials, like I want to uh, everybody to know, like feel free to um, ask in questions or feel free to comment or feel free to just uh, uh, jump in if uh, you, uh, you're not clear with anything or you, you want to kind of like you know, interact a little bit. Uh, you could, uh, I think you could just uh, um, like type in in the comment section or you can raise your hand and Hannah can help us to kind of uh, look it up. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna share. Uh, yes, I will make you host. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Just a second. Just a second, let me. There. And also, like, uh, um, after uh, I kind of like um, talking through the things I'm uh, prepared, I'm going to do a demo. Like, um, Hannah shared the picture. So, like, feel free to sketch together. Uh, also, like, you know. Um, most of the meetings, like urban sketchers, we always like to sketch each other. Like, we will never be like kind of doing nothing while having a meeting. So feel free to sketch each other's portrait or sketch the screen, sketch anything that uh, um, you like. Uh, I can share my screen now. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, can everybody see it okay? Yes. Okay. 
Do you see the border of the PDF or just the... Well, you see a, like a part of the, like half of the page. Mm -hmm. You want to see the half of the page? Yes, I think it's your picture and the, yes, it's like the graphic. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, yeah, we can see. Mm -hmm. You can see the full screen with two drawings. Correct, yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> thank you. So first of all, I just want to encourage everybody a little bit if you kind of just joining us or you're just joining the urban sketcher or like you feel like still like a little bit hesitant to sketch uh, this is like i collect the drawings from a four-year-old girl and a six-year-old girl so you can see like um even um as young as like we were in kind of like a childhood we know how to sketch we know how to doodle and we always like have passion on that when nobody else really telling us um, how to sketch. So like, and those are very powerful, like, like in general, I think sketching is just a way to express ourselves, to explore the world. And that's how um, all the children can do. So like, I, when we become adults, like we kind of start to uh, lost some of those spirits. So I felt like if you have, um, if you just started or you have friends and like haven't started, it's just this is kind of a good encouragement to them. Um, so this is how I talked a little bit about my background. I have like a, um, five years undergraduate uh, in architecture training. And while I am um, uh, having the architecture school, uh, like I think sketch is uh, like start to be one of my friends like in the city. Like I will pick up like some of the time uh, during the week to just explore the city. So like I kind of started um, uh, sketching uh, here and there a little bit in part in, in um, like uh, tackling with my like architecture training. This is in Qingdao where I had my undergraduate school. Um, and then. Uh, I, I kind of like not really devote myself 100% into uh, sketching that time. And uh, um, meanwhile, I, I started to be really busy with my uh, like architecture job. Um, like once I moved to Chicago, I started to be kind of working crazy like uh, every week until um, there is one day I walked into the Blake shop. It's like a, a, a art supply shop and they are doing a demo. Um, like the one of the artists there is introducing this uh, water brush and uh, uh, some of the watercolor tools, and it's kind of started to arouse some of my um, artists' soul or sketching soul out. So I got the material that day, and I decided I want to really uh, explore it again. So. Um, this is the uh, the first sketch I did in Chicago, like uh, like it really like can be called like urban sketcher. I sit there um spent half an hour to an hour to do this kind of sketching. Uh, I think I spent the date. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, maybe not. But this is like a 2016 um summer, and I. Like after doing this, I felt like, oh, something back, something really familiar, like coming back. I felt really excited that night. I couldn't uh, fall asleep. I remember I kind of like, you know, holding my phone and looking at the picture and so, so excited. Um, but now, like if I look at the sketch again, I felt like, oh, I don't like this that much. So you can see like how I kind of start to improve myself um, through the years. Um, so after that day, I decided I, I'm gonna sketch more. So my strategy is like every day after work, I just pick up a, a direction like east, west, uh, north, south, and I just walk till I find something is like, I feel like, um, I, I feel past, about or I, I feel like I want to sit down there and sketch. So uh, this uh, was my exploration in that summer. Uh, I started with like a very small uh, size of paper. It's like a four by six. It's like a postcard size. 
which I found is really helpful because it's not very intimidating for a uh, new sketch or a beginner. And uh, um, you could quickly capture a little thing of the city um, in a small format. So those are the moments um, I've been uh, doing that summer. Um, and uh, one of the things really uh, triggered me is the Wiggly Tower. And this is the tower we're going to sketch like, later on. Um, so this is uh, like the one of the landmark building in Chicago. Um, I, uh, I don't I like, I just kind of have this kind of emotional connection to this building. So I sketched it um, from different angles, different time. Uh, you can see like, I use kind of different ways to uh, sketch it. Um, I found this very, very helpful. Like you sketch the same object or same thing multiple times because you are more uh, familiar with yourself. So um, you get yourself very comfortable. And but sometimes like, you know, the, the light is different. If you sketch it from the morning, it's the song kind of more from like Southeast. And then um, if you sketch like during the sunset time, it's uh, like lit up in different locations. So when you color it, you kind of like, um, like ha have something different each time you sketch it, but like the structure or something is uh, the same. So it's kind of a, a process to build up your confidence. Um, and later on, we're gonna we sketch this together. I'm very excited for that. Um, and also another thing is the process. Like um, recently I find it's very helpful to do the watercolor first and then ink and then build up the watercolor again. Um, like, but some of this, I, um, most of this, like I, I, I do the uh, ink line first. I do the line work first and then I, I like put the color uh, later. Um, and then besides the building, uh, I like to exploring food. I think I'm not the only person here, but uh, many of our friends are probably like hate to, to eat with us <laughs> uh, because you know, like we always make them wait. Um, that's uh, how my friend was saying, okay, don't ever sketch with Jenny uh, because like <laughs> I always like hold them from eating. Uh, just kidding, but like, you know, like, uh, food is like a big subject for all the urban sketchers. Uh, like the, the, the tip is probably you order, like you, you do the double order so you can sketch one while you're eating one. Um, but yeah, so this is like one of my friend's restaurant in Texas. And I, uh, this is, he, he made, she made a lot of food for me to sketch. So I had a very uh, good moment there. <laughs> um, and uh, here I'm showing more of the buildings that I sketched in Chicago. Uh, the first one is the University of Chicago. Um, it's a very good, you know, I sit on the second floor across the street from the library. Uh, and I really like the, the arch. And the, um, I think one thing um, really interesting is uh, how to select the angle, you know, you're not always like um, sketch pedestrian view. Sometimes you kind of like lifted your uh, your eye level up a little bit so you can do something different. Um, I mean, yeah, in general, because I, I was trained as an architect. So I think I understand uh, the perspective very well where um, people who doesn't maybe, uh, maybe struggle a little bit, but I still like feel like Sometimes you, you even like um, you don't know much about perspective. You try to see the the line work. You can still like achieve something interesting. Um, but my suggestion is also like uh, you could start to find some books or from, find from other uh, sketchers tutorial to kind of um, understand the uh, perspective a little better. 
um, that will help you to kind of have the big structure at the beginning, if it's a pedestrian level, where is the, um, the horizon, where is the vantage point, uh, those things. I mean, uh, feel free to reach out to me if you really struggling with uh, perspective. Um, that could be the whole another like, you know, like lecture or like um, topic. Uh, and the middle one is the uh, intersection. It's a very beautiful intersection um, in Chicago is at the Michigan uh, Michigan Avenue and the um, the Chicago Lake, uh, Chicago River. Sorry. So this this one I did like really quick while I'm waiting for the bus. I think uh, one thing I really like about Urban Sketcher is like um, it train you or it encourage you to capture things in a short amount of time. Um, and sometimes because you run out of time. So you have to spend a little time on one thing and this kind of quick capturing um, make the make your drawing really vivid, really nice. Um, and the third one is a church in uh, where I love before. Um, it's just a very, um, very healing to find a quiet afternoon sitting there and do your little sketch. Um, these are some of my travel sketch. Um, the first one is in Beijing and second one in Charleston. Charleston is not very far from Jacksonville, right? Um, it's like give you this tropical, um, uh, tropical feeling, there's a palm tree. Um, yeah, you can see, you can see like from here, I start to be a little bit, um, not abstract, but it's not like, you know, 100% uh, portraying what I see. I tried to make it a little uh, tuning, a little like artistic. So I started with some like, you know, color blending. Um, and I, I, I think um, oh, like for beginner, it might be hard, but like as you draw more and more, you start to lose your hand, you start to explore in new ways uh, to approach things. and. But this process is really interesting. Um, and the third one is the um, is the uh, in Washington D.C. Um, and uh, I remember that night, like I I, I started at like a kind of dawn time, like a a, a, a sunset time, and then like uh, like it's getting darker and darker. When I start to color it, it's like, like kind of very dark. So. Um, I started to use the uh, watercolor to kind of uh, try to show the, the night thing. It's, it's hard, like, for the night, night view. Mm -hmm. um, Hannah, do we have any questions, or shall we, like, pause a little bit? Like, it's very quiet. <laughs> We're enjoying your presentation, Jenny. Thank you. Okay. There is, a, there is a comment that it was before that someone said, uh, Kamal said that this is a beautiful collection. Thank you. Yeah, okay, I'll continue. And um, uh, yeah, inspired by the Urban Sketcher, like when I travel, travel with friends, we always kind of pick our uh, sketchbook. This is kind of like a, a thing that the masters do thing. Uh, and we went just to this, uh, this trip, uh, like a road trip to several of this uh, national park. And uh, yeah, we sketched along the way at the Monument um, at Valley and the uh, Horseshoe Bend. And I remember at the Monument Valley, you know, like uh, I, I always like teasing my friends, like they know the strategy of mine, like to splash the, some of the color at, at last to give some of this kind of um, last minute uh, uh, to add the the um, kind of energy to the drawing. Um, so like at the Monument Valley, we see the sand on the ground. So we start to like, you know, like splash the sand on the drawing, like, you know, it's because there was some water. So it's like stick onto our uh, sketchbook is um, interesting. Um, and the, the, here showing more, um, uh, like uh, um, uh, like trip sketching um, 
I made a trip in uh, 2019 to China and uh, uh, I just made a uh, like a advertisement to call for uh, a company. Uh, so like, you know, most of the girls you see here are actually, uh, we didn't know each other before. Uh, like, I just kind of want a random trip with random uh, sketcher friends to see like, you know, what is sparkling um, these strangers can have. So uh, it turns out, like, I, I was a little, like, uh, uh, scared because, you know, like, nobody knows each other, like, how we can get along with each other or something. But it turns out, like, it's a really, really nice trip. And uh, I made some, like, lifelong friend along the trip. So it's kind of, like, you know, the sketching can uh, bring us closer. Um, and then, like, um, I, I felt like the uh, urban sketcher is a very good prototype to kind of make friends and to kind of uh, doing the, um, like, um, ice breaking process. So I introduced this um, kind of sketching crowd to my firm. So, like, you know, during the summer internship or summer hours, like, we started to, like, gathering and uh, the sketch. So, um, and the middle one is some of the workshops that uh, I give in uh, Chicago. Uh, I put a slide here. Um, this slide, um, all the sketch are done by my friends. Um, like none of those are done by me. And the, most of the uh, the friends, like the sketches you see here, they um, they kind of um, don't draw at all before um, we started to do the open sketching. Um, they kind of see my work or see other open sketchers work, it, they got inspired, and then they decided to um, explore themselves to give themselves a try. So you can see like, this is actually my um, college um, roommate. Um, Oh no, also Vumit, like she um, started to draw her song. It's like a very interesting, I love it. Like it, it's like she just like, keep trying, keep trying until he could, she could like really um, very well capturing um, the thing. Uh, and actually this one is done by Tina. I think Tina is here. Uh, she is uh, my sketch buddy here in Chicago. And she did this sketch from the um, her hotel like in Shanghai. Um, the is the the bond area. I found is super cool. Um, so you can see like he she used her own way to um capturing the the vibe of the city. Um, very very unique, very different um perspective from like, uh, you know, architecture maker <laughs> people. Uh, and yeah, so like if you haven't started or you are about to start, I hope this could encourage you. Um, and uh, so later on, like after kind of that summer and some of my early um, like attempts of, of urban sketching, um, I started to kind of do a lot of like cross page. Like my sketchbook is like uh, a little bit bigger than four by six. I think it's like more like a five by eight. But when you kind of like open horizontally, uh, it gives you this kind of like a linear format, which is very interesting to work with. Um, so I started the, uh, some of the this. Um, uh, the, the, those like horizontal formats or vertical format, but like very linear. Uh, I, I think it's uh, pretty good. So I, most of my sketch, I, I think I spent like um, the time within an hour, but this one I spent um, like a little short, uh, three hours, I think. Um, but I, I really like how it turns out. Like I spent uh, a lot of time on the line work to really capture the detail of the city and then later on for the watercolor, I also like spend a lot of time to kind of build up the details um, for this one. 
Yeah, this, this looks very beautiful, beautiful sketch that like mural in the building, Jenny. Mm -hmm. uh, I have one question here for by Darlene. And also I would like to, since you are the host right now, maybe there are some people that are wanting to join if you can oh. see the, the mm -hmm. participants. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, Is there the host or? Mm -hmm. You can maybe allow them to join. I, I got some messages that in the participants. Oh, okay, yeah. Yes, some people are. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I, I admit it. Okay, and the question is by Darlene, do you typically start the sketch with pencil or do you just jump right to ink like from the beginning? Oh, good question. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, I think, um, yeah, when I introduce myself, I make a little part. Yeah, I, I saw more people like uh, in the waiting room. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so like uh, uh, I actually uh, have like kind of like uh, uh, art art class or art school, like a hobby, art hobby class, like when uh, in my um, childhood, like more, more or less from seven year old to uh, 11 year old. So um, my teacher was asking me to like encourage like every kid to draw like without a draft line. So without pencil, just use a pen to, to start directly. So, and, and I remember the teacher will just hand out like the paper to us. Like, so each of the class, we only have two, two uh, pages of the paper, two pieces of paper. So we only have four sides to like be filled on. Like, like we can only fill like three times. Otherwise we run out of paper. So like by uh, like that training, so like more or less, I kind of um, put my hand and my brain and I know kind of roughly where things are. So um, I don't really need to do the pencil um, pencil sign before uh, the pen. So yeah, like if it's not like a pencil sketch, I will just use pen directly to draw. Uh, and also like later on, I will introduce the, uh, my recent discovery is like uh, color first and the pen second. By doing that, it's actually the color can help you set up the composition before you use the pen. I think that helps. Um, I, I can talk more in detail later. Um, is there any other question or? I, I think that that's it for now. Yeah, thank you. Okay, yeah, thank you. Um, and move to this one. So, okay. So this one I did in winter. Uh, like, you know, uh, we like, so the, one of the spirit or kind of a mandatory from like the um, urban sketches is like, we need to draw on location, you know, like instead of like draw photos or draw from screen, it's always like draw on location. But winter is really a big problem. So this one, we actually draw from our friend's car. You know, like we draw from the behind the, the the car window. Then I was actually like asking a question, like in the group, and said like, if you draw from a car, does it considered as a urban sketching? Is you're I'm on location, but I'm not like exposed myself to the coldness to the severe weather. Um, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> most people will say like yes, like it's still considered as urban sketching. Uh, yeah. So I think um, the thing is like. I'm not that young, that brave to like kind of, you know, um, expose myself into the coldness. So I feel more comfortable staying in a warmer place and I could, uh, you know, really uh, work on the composition, uh, work on like thinking about how I want to draw the thing. So it's like, give me more like, um, uh, like comfort to, to stay in, in the car and draw it. And I like this, uh, this, this sketch a lot because somehow I decided I'm not like drawing anything here. Uh, can you see my cursor here? Uh, yeah, okay, good. 
Uh, so uh, like these are just like a row of buildings. So it's like the, the same building, similar building facade here. But I feel like if I leave it blank, like I can automatically like draw people's attention to kind of the, the street, the streetscape, and you kind of feel like your your side is like extending um towards like further away. So um, I think that is one of the strategies called like less is more. Sometimes you don't draw everything you see. You kind of choose um, like wisely where you want to put the ink, where you don't want. And also the color, like I, I kind of put more color on the, um, on the street and on the car, but leave the building um, blank. So it's also helping leading the people's uh, like um, focal points to where I want to lead people to. Um, I think that that's some of the, the tricks. Um, yeah, yes, talking about that, uh, we have a question by Teresa Cook. Mm -hmm. She's asking that the sketches seem to look like fish eye style. Mm -hmm. how, how are you able to do that? Mm -hmm. That's a very good question. Like a trend in architecture school, the teacher always telling you, you know, like all the uh, vertical lines should be vertical. Like, you should, like most of the time it's like a good uh, one point uh, perspective or two point perspective. So like all the vertical line is straight. Um, so yeah, like when I sketch, I actually try to like deliberately play, uh, break that. For myself, I kind of like you know like to have a different mindset. Like I'm an art art artist now. I'm not an, an architect. So uh, I can. So I think um one of the trick is um to sketch your feeling, like how the um how the thing like how you feel about the thing. Sometimes you know you feel all the buildings are going towards you, especially in the big cities. You feel like um, it's very overwhelming, it's very intimidating. All the buildings are going towards you. And something like that, like you could start to, you know, have like those wide angle, you set up, up some baselines. So when people see your drawing, they feel the same thing. They feel like all the buildings are leaning towards you. You know, like sometimes if you want to show the building is really tall or something like that, you might want to change the angle. Um, one of the thing I tried is like, um, when you start a sketch, you draw some of this kind of guiding lines or you have this guiding lines in your heart or in your mind that like later on, you just have everything like to follow those angle lines. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, I, I just feel like, you know, um, I always, before I always draw everything vertical, like very strict. Later on, I feel like, oh, it's not much fun about the how to add some fun to it. Um, I got inspired by one of the um, um, Barcelona uh, sketcher, uh, Mariella. Uh, she like, um, you know, like I feel like many of the thin uh, sketchers they're like more, you know. Um, think, think more out of the box. So they have like a lot of this kind of good thoughts. Um, later on, I'm gonna show you more about other, uh, how I was influenced by other sketches work. Uh, I think that is one of the uh, very good um, starting point is to find the sketches that you like, the, the works you like, and it starts to think about why they think that way, um, why they approach that way. And you could kind of like, you know, borrow some of their strategies. Um, yeah. So this one is also like Chicago. Um, one of the things, you know, Chicago is like all the buildings have like millions of windows. How we draw the windows. Are we drawing like every little single window or we find a strategy to draw the window? I, this one, I think uh, it's kind of like, relatively easier way that I could just use the brush to show the window instead of like using the line works to um, like outline every window. And sometimes you 
want to feed some of the windows to like <laughs> I think one reason is it's too tedious to just draw every single window. Uh, so like you know we could just find a way that where you draw where you don't draw like um, one thing is kind of saves some of the energy and the, the other thing is like you know we can show uh, the rhythm of the drawing. Um, and, uh, you know, um, to be honest, drawing people is a huge challenge to me. Uh, for a long time, how I was doing it is I, I'll take a photo. I'm very comfortable in drawing the, the buildings, but I am um, I'm not very good to capturing the people in motion. So I always take a photo and I, I draw the buildings by looking at the building, but I draw the people like, by looking at my phone because I, I throw them on my phone. I feel a little ashamed <laughs> of that, to be honest, but like, I, I kind of, it's hard for me to do that. So what I'm doing is like, I just, uh, um, um, so what I was doing is like, um, I, I was just keep trying. I, uh, I, I think the uh, what's it called one week one hundred people challenge. Yes. Like we, we, yeah, we're doing is helpful. Like you kind of just like constantly draw people or condense the practice into one week or like relatively short amount of time to to help yourself uh, like practice um, people and it. So this one is we found, uh, we went to this uh, Frida Kohl's uh, exhibition in Chicago and uh, we find a lady like, she looks very much like Frida. So like, um, we, I, so I, I just took the courage, took the courage and we approached her and asking, do you kind of see our model for a second? Um, we really want to get you and she agrees. She, she was really happy and uh, we had a very good conversation. Um, I, I, I believe like everybody already found like, you know, um, the urban center is a really good way to, um, you know, uh, talk to people and in, like anchor the, uh, the conversations. So this is um, what I drew at the exhibition. Um, and this is one of the, um, also like a, you know, like a very quick sketch, like at the airport. Um, I, yeah, I, I learned my uh, flight was delayed for 20 minutes or something. I was very happy because I could do a sketch, uh, but it's still like a relatively short amount of time. And I remember like all the seats are occupied by people. So I just like, you know, sit on the floor or kneeled on the floor on the floor um, adjacent to the window. And I started to do my thing. I still so we threw the album on it. And later on, I found like the people behind me were watching me. <laughs> I was like <laughs> surprised, but like, it's kind of like a, a, a performance or a show. Like, um, yeah, and it turns out like I really like the sketch. You know, sometimes like, you know, you feel very rushed, but it could give you a very like energetic sketch. Um, and those are more like what I said, like I started to be more comfortable to capture people. I did this one as a, as a famous like Iglesias, Iglesias the, um, the, the cups in, um, in Chicago. And this one is at the uh, Starbucks. So Chicago has this like biggest uh, uh, Starbucks, uh, uh, what's it called, like a um, reserve, like the kind of flagship shop. Um, and uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, like it's a good way. And then actually later on, like, I felt like I always want to uh, use sketch to in interact with people. Um, so like I finished this sketch and uh, uh, I took my sketchbook and talked to people who are making coffee. I said like, uh, I did this sketch uh, here and you might want to take a photo. Um, because I felt like, you know, like um, this can help them with like enlightening their day or something because it's their workplace. They want something like art related to 
um, memorize things or something. So uh, I always feel like um, it might be interesting to take a photo. And it turns out pretty good. And many people like start to talk to me or um, they are very happy to take a photo, things like that. Um, it's, it's hard for um, at the beginning for me, like I was a little shy. Like the, I remember the first time I did that and my heart beats really quickly. And now I feel like, yeah, very comfortable <laughs> doing that. Um, so this is um, how I was um, uh, mentioning before is like, um, recently I started this strategy. I got inspired from Santi, uh, is a Barcelona uh, sketcher. Uh, I, I watched some of uh, his, uh, his tutorials or his uh, process of sketching. And I found this, uh, this strategy is super handy because um, you know, the, the kind of like light touch of color can help you uh, kind of allocate things at the beginning. You know, it's very simple, but like just uh, some simple brushes is uh, telling you where you want to put each building. And then later on, uh, when you do the line work, you don't really follow the boundary of the watercolor you did. But you kind of like shift it a little bit. Sometimes you add some of the white space in between. So it's just to make the drawing more vivid. Um, and then after that, so sometimes like uh, I found that, okay, this building location, I don't like it very much. I just shift the line work a little bit. Nobody can tell. And the, it's add some like, uh, you know, the, um, the energy to, to the drawing. And after, after this, after I like kind of finish the line work, I start to build up the watercolor again on top of it to add more details. Like I could kind of like, you know, fake uh, what I did, did uh, was not accurate at the very beginning. But like, to be honest, like it doesn't really need to be accurate. It's like, um, if you see my sketch, uh, I'm sure you couldn't tell it's like off a little bit or it's not the real uh, building location. It's more about like how you feel about the atmosphere, how about uh, feel the energy, how you want to convey, convey the message, how you want to express yourself on, in the drawing. Uh, this is one more example. Uh, you can see like, I started with something looks very abstract, um, but it helps. And also I felt like, you know, because of the early um, like watercolor layer is actually make the page a little wet. So when you do the ink, um, it's like the, the pen works more fluent than like without the, the, the water layer. Um, yeah, so this is kind of like, uh, I felt like a really uh, com comfortable or very good process. And that I just want more and more people to know this and to try if you like it. Um, so yeah, this is how that sketch turned out to be. Uh, if, you, if I zoom in here, you can tell a little bit like, you know, this is kind of like the early brushes. And when I put the line work is, I'm not really following the shape of the watercolor, but like, this kind of rhythm gives you some of the white is become the highlight is just make the the, uh, the whole drawing more vivid. We have some other questions about your materials, like uh, mm -hmm. what what color of, of ink is this, and also the kind of pens you use. Oh, good question. I prepare for that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's next slide. Yeah, there, here you go. Uh, yeah, feel free to do a screenshot or something. So this is, these are the materials I'm using from like um, 2016 to 19. It's more about like um, the early uh, sketches I was doing. Um, I felt like this combination is very good for um, beginners. Uh, I, I wouldn't like uh, go through one by one, like you could just uh, based on what I put here to do your own research. And later on when I do the demo, I could uh, show you more. Is that better? Uh, and then from like 2020 to 2022 is really when the pandemic is. 
Um, I felt like I'm, I'm not sure everybody here. I felt like I saved a lot of money from like, you know, buying clothes, buying makeup. Like I kind of shift those costs to uh, art materials. Um, so the good thing about it is I started to explore more uh, materials. Like I felt like one of the things it's really good is the Daniel Smith uh, watercolor. Before I always use like, you know, the, the solid uh, palette um, watercolor, but now I start to use the, the tubes, like those watercolor tubes. Like um, I felt like uh, those are very good quality watercolor and can make it, the drawing more vibrant. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, feel free to do a screenshot or, um, or put it down. So, like, if you have any questions, feel free to ask about those. Um, or we can we can go go back and review them later. Um, another thing I want to share here um, is um, some of my um, kind of like a fun project I was doing, like I think right before COVID. Um, and here. Um, I want to uh, like introduce a little bit about the uh, Procreate. Uh, it's like an app like on the iPad. I'm not sure like anybody here um, do like a digital art thing. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, so like this is a very handy tool. And the, the, the good thing about it is one thing is like it's easy to, um, to, to take when you travel. Another thing is like it gives you a lot of varieties about the um, the brush, the, the pen, the um, the ink, and it gives you options about like different uh, uh, layers, like how you could play uh, in between those layers. Uh, on top of that, I want to like um, walk you through uh, some of this uh, uh, sketches from the world that I like. Uh, I can show you here. So um, first thing is I I decided to draw the uh, the kitchen uh, uh, oven and from my home. So I use the um, I use the iPad to like just sketch this, and you can see the um, advantage of this uh, iPad is like you could kind of like scan some of the shadows, and you can play with the transparency. Uh, it's more like a illustrator here, uh, like an illustration. Um, and after that, I was kind of just, you know, challenge myself. Um, what if like other sketchers draw the same thing? How they want, they would draw it. I just asking my question. Sometimes I ask my question about like what you know, KK uh, from uh, Malaysia, he would draw it. Because I, I sketched with him, like I sketched, I sat next to him when of the, at the Chicago Symposium and uh, I, I observed him uh, draw. So I was thinking, what if Kiki is doing it? So I'm keep asking my questions, so it's not this question. So I started to explore and uh, you can see here. Um, I started, I was uh, like Paul Wong. So the metal sketch is actually from Paul Wong. Uh, he did this. And then I said, okay, if I draw the same thing, but use his way, how is it gonna be? So this kind of is my result. Like you can see, um, like I, so when I really like started this thing, like I start to, you know, uh, observe more about how he sketched, how he, uh, you know, like, um, do the colors, how he, um, like, uh, do the line work, like, where he will leave blank. So I started to notice more about this. I think that is uh, helpful. Um, so this is, this is my approach. And then Paul Houston, um, he is a um, Texas-based art, art artist, urban sketcher. And he always do the fish fish eye or um, it's called umbrella perspective. Um, so and he he used this uh, uh, like you know the tan color the brown color 
uh, as the base, and he draw the line work with black ink and then highlight uh, with white. So I tried to do something similar, and uh, uh, I, I tried to see how he do the shadows and offset to the drawing um, I'm working on. And uh, then this is KK. So like KK always uses a uh, very interesting tweak. Um, it's like gouge, like uh, like what if he do um, he do my object? How he would do it? I I did um, something similar here. Um, I think one thing I, I learned is uh, you know like um, the 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 ink. It's like it's not only one black, 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 and also like you know even you draw the lines it could be like thin line, thicker line. It could be uh, like kind of different um, rhythm of the lines to add some depth into your drawing. Really quick, and then this is James Richards. I think he now he's in Florida also, right? Uh, <laughs> I think he moved to Florida and. Uh, uh, he has his unique approach about watercolor and the um, markers. Um, I did, and you can see how like versatile the, the, the app is, the Procreate and the iPad is to give you different brushes and different uh, um, color, uh, color media like uh, a marker or watercolor. Uh, and this is Metin. Um, he finds this a unique paper. It's like used for accounting. And I, I fake the, the background at the same paper he used. Uh, and you see like by um, learning the way how he do uh, urban sketching, like I, I can really tell like uh, uh, how the white lines, the highlight can help at the last minute. Um, and this is, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. I think he's a, a urban sketcher from uh, um, Paris. And uh, um, I put his Instagram here so you can look him up. Uh, I'm very impressed by his uh, website and his, uh, his works. He is very good at using the shadow, like play with the black and the white. He always put a large uh, shape of the shadow. It, uh, it's very unique and I, I love his work. Um, this is uh, Simone from uh, London, I think. Um, yeah, she's her approach is like with this kind of a wash of um, watercolor. This I think this two color is the main color she she used for most of her drawings. Um, but you can see like by by doing this exercise, you learn the way how they sketch and you learn the way how they coloring. So it's just a fun project. I think uh, I encourage everybody to. Do something similar if you're interested, like you can learn more than you think. Um, and this, is, uh, this is Maru. Um, she is a very good, like, gouge, um, urban, like, sketch, urban sketcher using the gouge. Uh, her slogan is like, uh, sketch like a uh, gouge like a kid, right? Uh, or gouge like a child. So, um, you can see he has this kind of illustration feel. She has this illustration feeling to approach things. Um, like um, also, she always do kind of the the line work is not really one hundred percent following the shape of the color. So you feel like this freedom and power um, in her work. Mm, this is June. Um, she, he is a Portugal based um, urban sketcher. Um, her uh, his unique thing is like she likes to make everything dance. Like you know, he twisted some of the buildings to add fun on it. So I, I you know, I started to twist the, the oven. Like so, yeah, that's you can see like everybody has like something some different characters. So one thing I think is very interesting is like how to find your own character. How to use find your, your, your own uh, language or approach to things. And I think later on you build that up is like, uh, I'm working on that also. Uh, but sometimes I, 
uh, I ran into a person the other day, like he, he saw my work and said, are you Jenny? So I felt like I already started to have this on Jenny too, um, which is kind of like what I want, want to like build up my language. I think that, like everybody um, is working on that, like to find it, um, our own ID. Um, this is Virginia. Virginia is like a LA based art, um, urban sketcher. I met her in uh, February this year, like sketch with her. Um, she did a lot of like this, like a um, road or uh, highway sketch. I don't know how she do it. Like it feels like she just uh, um, sit on the, the side seat on the car and she just uh, quickly captured everything and uh, um, like, yeah, even the color and the line works are, are very, like have this uh, quality of the, the speed, but also like kind of give you the feeling of like the motion. Um, this is uh, William. William is, uh, uh, I think he's in uh, South Africa, Africa, and she, he is also an architect. And he, um, he found this cardboard and uh, it's like, instead of start from like white paper, he started with some like colored paper and built color on it. And it will make the white even more like pumping out. Um, and Veronica, I think Veronica is based in New York. Um, the, the good thing, the interesting thing about her work is the ink. I think uh, she used like a multiple color uh, ink pen, but also the the ink like sometimes is like get like darker, some lighter is maybe because how he angled the pen. So it's very hard to mimic him, <laughs> but I try you see like the even one line could have the part of the the line is like with lighter ink and part of it is with like darker ink. Um the last one's Uma. Uh, she is one of my favorite uh, urban sketches. Um, I think she like really rocked this thing. Like instead of like you know how we approach, we just most of us probably just start with line. She started with kind of um, I think the vibe, the energy. She like getting things like you you might not uh, like. You, you just kind of see it's a combination of the lines and the shapes and the colors, like everything like uh, just putting together by her in a messy but good way. <laughs> um, yeah, so this kind of is like a, a collection of mine. I, I did several of them. You can see uh, it could be a really fun project. You could start with just like a, a pair of shoes or a plant or anything like you want to draw multiple times and think about what if I use other people's way to draw it? Like, um, you might develop your own language after this. Um, so I, I put like a collection here if you want to do a screenshot. Uh, and if you might be interested in any of the, their works, uh, you can look it up. Those are their uh, Instagrams. Um, oh. <laughs> Um, I think almost there. Yeah, so um, the last page showing my Instagram and the, um, I'm from the Urban Sketches Chicago. And I hope this kind of help everybody. <laughs> um, like any questions or? Um, yeah, there, there are some questions. Well, yeah. first uh, they are saying that beautiful project is yeah, I agree with that, definitely. And there is another question about, uh, you mentioned something about handmade arch, arches, watercolor, paper, sketchbook, or something like that. Mm -hmm. If it mean, means that you made the sketchbook. Uh, not really. Um, thank you for the question. I actually uh, buy them from like a, um, a, a, like a manufacturer from China. Like I'm gonna show you. Um, and I shall we uh, switch to the mm -hmm. yes? Yeah, I think you can show us your sketchbooks. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. 
Oh, you can oh, make me host. You can make me host if you want. Yeah. Okay. Am I host now? Mm. Yes, now I'm host. Okay, this is your camera. It looks a little bit, it's vertical. There, yes, now we can see it. So yeah, so this is the sketchbook I was talking about. Uh, yeah, so it's like, uh, uh, I think this is more like five by eight inches. Um, it's, it's, yeah, I, I, I bought from China. <laughs> um, it's, they use the uh, arches paper. So yeah, I, yeah, I don't really make the sketchbook of my own. Um, and I always like buy a lot uh, like to make sure that uh, <laughs> I don't run out of them. Yeah. So yeah, some of the books, they have this one of the paper that have color. Can everybody say it okay? Yes, we, we can see perfect. Okay. No. Yeah. No, I'm not seeing the sketchbook. Oh. Oh, wait, wait. Do you not see the sketchbook? I'm not seeing the sketchbook oh. either. Okay, one second. Let's, let's go to the gallery. Okay. Now, I think. Yes, yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, this is a sketchbook, but I actually have a lot of them. Um, mm. I, I think I sketched like more than 10 now. <laughs> but like, yeah, I get this one from a, like a Chinese manufacturing shop. And uh, that, this is the format I was talking about, like this give you this kind of like linear format. Um, it's easy, it's um, a little challenge sometimes like, you. Uh, we need to think about like how to compose it, like if we want to a uh, horizontal or vertical. Um, but like most of the time, I thought like I can find a good way to compose it. Like this one, it's kind of perfect how I draw my things like at the foreground, and then the back is the building. And um, uh, it's like some of the buildings, even they're tall, they just kind of stop here. Um, and sometimes I just uh, feel like I don't need to do the whole cross, so I just do half of the page. I could use horizontally or vertically. Um, so, yeah, so you can see those are like vertical. Um, Some of the pages are, are uh, different color. Yeah. Uh, it's like, I don't know why, but they have like the two pages are like this brown paper. So I just find a way to <laughs> make use of them. I like that. That's nice. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. So I went to the Banksy uh, exhibition and uh, decided to show some the red balloon like floating to this guy. Um, this is one at the. Um, outdoor concert and food. I really like to draw food, octopus. Um, this, is, uh, this is also pills in like a Mexican um, neighborhood in Chicago. Like this little house and you can see like, as I mentioned, sometimes we don't need to like color everything. I leave the, the cars like white um like on purpose so people can focus more on the, the little um, town home so jenny when yeah. you do a neighborhood like that are you way back or are you um take a look at it and you compose it or what is your strategy uh okay 
So I, I think I do like a walking a little bit around to find a good angle that I like, but it also depends on um, if there is a good spot, like I can stay there for a while or stay there for a while. Like this one, like a, um, I sketch with Tina actually, and we sit like across streets and it's perfect because we just have like a little porch with like a few steps, like stairs. So I, we can sit on there and um, um, yeah, we, we find this is just kind of a good, I, I think it's not very close. It's still like a little bit far away, so. Cool. Thing like not to like angle them out, so it's have like a little bit like a fish eye feel. I see. I like um, it. Thank you. Wonderful. This is like the neighborhood um, a coffee shop. Like a yeah, it's like a little cafe. Um, this pen that is actually has a like an angle. It's a it's a, it's called spot spot scoot scoot f u e t e. The pen like has an angle, so it's kind of like yes, yeah, some of the thicker lines, some are like thinner lines. Um, yeah, I mean, at this uh, uh, coffee shop, I'm thinking like, can I airdrop people this sketch because I don't know them, but I want to share the sketch with them. So I turn on my airdrop. I think I tried it, like you know, like I need people's permission to <laughs> airdrop to them. So like, yeah, I, I don't think I job, I job to anybody, but like I I went up to the, the stores and just like just asking if you want like a photo of this. Um, I think, yeah, they are very happy to talk to me. Um, it's a way to kind of more interact with people. Um, this is a lot of Lhasa, actually. I sketched this with Tammy, um, kind of sketching friend in, from Chicago. Um, she might be here also. Um, like here, we actually, because it's like a huge event, we couldn't find any good spot uh, across the street. It's very crowded. So instead, we, we sit on the middle island in, on the street. It's a little dangerous, actually. It's <laughs> not recommended. Um, but like, um, what we want to capture is a lot of Tulsa, the sign. Um, and they have like just kind of all funded. So I, we, we didn't really uh, see any of the even behind that. So I, I sketched the people who helped with the, the traffic. Um, <laughs> yeah, and the here is also Pilsen. Like you can see, like I'm actually sitting down. So the eye level is here. Uh, it's a little lower than usual, but like, it gives you a good feeling of this kind of one point perspective. The vantage point is in the middle, so everything is kind of like walking this way. Um, we decided to sketch here because we found this very cute, uh, like a uh, uh, little uh, decoration with all the flower pots. And we think well, the, the owner gave a lot of love to to his um, front porch, and then we decided to capture. Um, the, the little kind of spot. Um, this is another event I decided to uh, sketch like during my lunch break that they pour the rubber duck into the Chicago River. Uh, it's hard to tell actually, but like it's kind of a big event. Like uh, people can buy the, uh, the the rubber duck for five bucks, and the first one who get to a certain point can get a car or something. Like the rubber duck. Um, events in Chicago. Um, yeah, those are more um, events you can see. Like I got much more mature to capture people. Before I'm, I was really like shy about sketching people, and here I think I get more and more comfortable. Um, this is like a vertical formatting. Um, the the Wigley Tower again, uh, and the Tribune Tower, and. Uh, here I decided to kind of draw the people a little bit dark, not to pumping out to let people focus more on the building. Um, 
to see the ice cream. Um, the rainbow cone is really tasty. <laughs> so yeah, here is like, um, this is kind of the way how I want to uh, compose it. It's like, uh, this is not the correct like location, but uh, I want to capture the facade of the on um, the building and also the the, the the track. So I kind of like, actually the track is somewhere down here. But I decided to move it things around to fit on one page. Okay, I I think uh, I wouldn't go through everyone, but I just split pieces. Those are is that okay? We we ran over the time. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, why not we start to like draw now? Sounds um, good. So, like, yeah. Thank you. This is a lovely sketchbook. Really, really inspiring. Thank you. Okay, so uh, let me pull out the the building. So, kind of everybody can see this, okay, right? Yes, okay. we can see. And we have the building, the picture was sent by email and also on Instagram. Yeah, so this is like kind of what I'm saying to get some more color, but let's start from fresh. Oh. So, um, I think at the beginning, like it's kind of need to be really rough. It doesn't need, need to be that accurate at all. So, um, so I try to just get like a more um. Uh, cold color, like a dark color. So I just start to, you know, tap on where the shadow is. And you could add like a little bit other tone. Give it a little depth. Um, so the, the tower is like, so basically tower is like here is kind of like a line that in between the, the bright portion and the dark portion. And uh, the thing like the closer to the, to, to where it's separated, it will be like a, even a little darker. So I put like a little darker color there. And then I just drop down a little bit like at the right side. Very, uh, very abstract. <laughs> Doesn't need to be accurate at all. So let it dry a little bit. Okay, and. Um, so after that, uh, I'll just really just to start from the top to kind of get the outline. Um, I feel like sometimes this, the proportion is not that important. Um, but if you are not like very confident, you could kind of uh, spacing it out a little bit to think about like how big you want to um, do the top like cylinder and how big you want to do the big square. Um, but the concept is like, you know, you treat like everything like as big shapes. So you see like in your mind,
mind, you probably will think that you kind of like a little cylinder here. And then the bottom portion is like two box rings. This is kind of how you think in your mind. So this is like the perspective in your mind. This kind of need a little bit um, practice to kind of you know to know where all the lines should be going. But when I start to draw, I have this kind of diagram in my mind, but I don't really you know follow everything. Instead, I start to kind of draw what I saw to make it a little bit more visual. Like when I draw, like I put the details there, but something like that, but I have this structure in my mind. I think it's right. This is a waterproof ink. The ink I put in the sheet is like the waterproof ink. Um, but since I put the watercolor first, it's not dry enough, so you can see there's it's blending a little bit. Um, but it's okay. Sometimes, like I feel like blending in actually not a bad thing. You can see when I draw the um, the portion in the shadow, like I don't really follow the line of the watercolor. Instead, I introduce a new boundary, which I think makes the drawing more um, energetic. Can anybody raise your hand if you are sketching with me? <laughs> Just want to say. Yes, I, I am sketching, and I think some more people also are sketching. Yeah, I think from this point is more about like just kind of see, just draw out the shape that you saw. Is that the moment that I was talking about, like how this kind of highlight uh, everything being perfect colored?
There's like a series of selections, like, uh, like you constantly making decisions where you want to, or lines where you don't want to. That make our like uh, edge. Oh, uh, do you want to throw that image again in the chat? If people just join, they might uh, not see the phone. Is there a way to drop? Uh, I could drop. Let me try. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm uploading. Oh, yes, thank you. Yeah. If you didn't get this image ahead of time, like you could find something um, in the chat. Uh, Hannah, do you mind if I say that in Chinese? I think some of my Chinese friends might see it. Please go ahead, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, 如果大家是刚进来没有那个就说到我们之前要画的那个图的话你可以从那个就是那个聊天对话框里面找到这个图大家可以一起画 Thank you. is like why so back this is kind of what I have now. Um to me like um those are very very good moments like Right here, you see how the, the watercolor and the line work and not align, but give you some of the moments that like kind of being very natural. And to be honest, I think this is kind of like already very interesting. Um, but if you want, like later on, you could start to add more watercolor on it. Um, I really like this brush. Um, it's the um, Ascoda, it's a Barcelona um, brand, it's so versatile. Uh, they have other series, like which is actually better, but this one is more like affordable. Um, and they have this like test and uh, it's 
and it's, it's very handy for like adding details. Well, like you can see the one I used at the beginning. This one is very good as like doing like art large area. This is the um, black velvet. Um, it's both like tall. It's like tall. So I think is all I need to do here is just to kind of like add a little bit dark color to the to the um, the shadow. A very good um, combination is the um, the uh, French ultramarine with the burnt sienna. I put the both names in the sheet, um, so you can see like these two colors. A very good combination, and if you don't like things, you can rub it off. Like watercolor is kind of like an art is how you combine the water and the color. So if you find something you really like, like you might want to keep it and not add things on top of it. Like here, I really like this here already. So I probably won't touch it. Um, and sometimes if you just start it and uh, you don't know kind of the performance of the color and the water you could like take multiple photos of the process of yourself and you see which one you like better and you just gain experience by like the client So the interesting thing about this uh, photo or this building is like, you can see the, the part in the shadow is like cold and the part um, towards the light is warm. So um, it's kind of a very clear contrast between warm and cold. But in the warm part, it still has some of the cold color. And in the cold, cold part, it has a warm color. So this is very interesting how the two are in, intertwined. I think that's probably why I like the film. <laughs> I like to sketch the film. Good. I think uh, I'm pretty much it. Um, sometimes like you don't want to spend too much time to put too much layers and you will kind of lose the initial kind of vivid. Falling. 
It looks really good. I, I really like this style. We are going to show uh, the gallery in a few moments uh, so we can share, everyone can share what they sketch yeah, with yeah. you. Okay. And I'll take a photo and send to Hannah so everybody can have a closer uh -huh. like, look. <laughs> And uh, another thing is like, you know, the, the signature is part of your drawing. So I was like doing my signature, like kind of based on some of the lines. It was like kind of part of the What's the name of this building again? It's weekly power. It's uh, I, I can put it in there. Oh, it's called weekly. Um, I think it's a the gum, the gum company. Uh, but it's no longer the gum company. Now it's like leasing out to different things. How do you guys feel? Like, is it too hard to sketch or it's okay? <laughs> no, we're ready. <laughs> I'm going to uh, switch to gallery. There, so everyone can share what they sketch tonight. Oh, wow. It looks very good. <laughs> yes. Wow, very beautiful. Love it. I'm going to take a screenshot. Oh, yes, a second, please. Okay, one, two, three. Very good. And now let's go and spotlight some of you if you are willing. Let's go with Lisa first. You're muted if you want to unmute yourself. No, you're still muted. No, we cannot hear you. Oh, no. Yes. Oh. Now we can hear you. Yes. There. Now you can see it. <laughs> Very nice. It's backwards. From, oh, how can we see it backwards? Uh, we can see it right. For in my view, it looks it yeah. looks the right way. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Oh, that, look, that looks thank good, Lisa. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That was go. fun. Very nice. Let's go read someone else. Let's capture more. I kind of stopped at the tower. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with Chris and then. Oh, Chris, that's uh -oh. wonderful. Yep. How impressive. Uh, yeah, I can't help. I I can't help but just do the the way you know. You know, <laughs> yeah. nice. it's still drip. It's still dripping on my hand, so it's a good thing. <laughs> That's correct. Do you, do you put uh, watercolor first, or no? I I I I uh, I sort of did a quick ink sketch, and it's not it's not waterproof ink, so it sort of smears and things oh, too. So, yeah. It's, like a good, uh, it's a good insect. It turns out it's very, uh, very nice. Even oh, thank working. you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's fun. That's fun. That's nice. fun. That's someone else, uh, Grace Allen. Mm. Chris Allen. Yes. <laughs> hey, hi, Chris. 
Hey, CJ, yeah, nice, nice job. job. <laughs> yeah, I, I like this idea of putting a little bit of watercolor on the sketchbook first. I'm going to have to play around with that. That's a, yeah. definitely a good tip to take yeah. away from today. Yeah, yeah, yes. that's fun. Excellent. Very nice. Excellent. Mm, now I'll just go with. Mm. Oh, Pat. Wow. Nice. You did two of them. Nice. One is ink first and one is ink second. Nice. Oh, that's which one is which? Which uh, is? This one was ink first. Okay. Hmm. Nice. Mm. Nice. And they look I like your walk. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Mm. Now, someone else. Mm. Teresa, okay, let's go with Teresa. Oh, wait, you're mid. Um, it, it still looks like wet. Very good. <laughs> it is, because oh, yeah. I was like adding nice. more colors to it. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. That is, that's awesome. Yes. Yeah, I used my uh, my black wing pencil tonight because I don't really use it as much, and so I was like, okay, I'll use that to do my line work. Um, and I really like the way it came out. I like it a lot. Cool. Okay. I like how you have like some white in between the color and the line work. Yeah. Someone I like has... your Van Gogh pen too. That's nice. <laughs> 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 I wear it so much I forget that I have it on and people remind me they're like oh, oh you have your pin on who else is ready to show their sketch if, if not I will show mine <laughs> yeah absolutely uh, oh oh that's very that's nice beautiful. oh yeah you bet thank you very nice it was fun is that the burnt sienna? Good colors? Yes, it's burnt sienna. Okay. So I think if anyone else, am I missing anyone else that wants to show their sketch? No? No. Oh, go on, yeah, let's go with it. Let's travel to Orlando. <laughs> yeah. There well, you I, are. Did, I did a very different approach because I didn't have the picture, so I had to follow what she did first to do mine but oh, then yeah. i just i doodle all the way through the thing so Excellent. you may like or may that. not identify Very. yourself <laughs> oh i like oh, that I Very, yeah. Yeah. I like and the i just had to follow hers yeah, yeah. i that keeps me fo keeps me focused when i listen i tend to wander so then i picked up <laughs> things that were from her pictures yeah, that she showed like real that. quick yeah it was uh -huh. fun Beautiful, that. beautiful. Thanks for sharing. Honey, do you have? Do I have your email address? I don't know. I think you do, because did, um, did you get the email from me today? I uh, it was Monday. I think I sent it. Oh. I sent an email for uh, the meeting, and I sent the picture with it. So if you, I, if I, I can't say you didn't send it. So that's uh, that's my problem. Okay. So it's, yeah, it was, I, I wasn't looking for it probably. So my head just said, I'm just going to, you know, come on in when oh, it's that's time. Fine. That's, yeah, just, that's probably what I, I did. I just didn't want to leave you out and I, yeah, I'm not yeah. sure I Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Okay. So am I missing, if anyone wants to share their sketch, let me know. I'll show mine. Okay. If if any, can you can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah. See, it's quite different. Oh, oh, oh that's beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Because yeah. I did the watercolor first this time. You know. What kind nice, of brush Lori. did you use for oh, all of your oh. marks for the windows? What kind of brush did you use? This, uh, you know what? Um, I just used a. Uh, what a kit, but it's um, I just used rather a large brush, one of the round, like a really similar to this. It's just an inexpensive round brush. It's one of the artist loft brushes that I use. That's it. And I just fast figured I'd go through it. Like I just go uh, more whimsical. 
I don't know if that makes sense. Instead of worrying yeah. about everything being in proportion, I'd go out of proportion because it makes me nuts making everything correct. <laughs> and you brought it right down to street level. Very good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you kind of got the idea, Patrick. <laughs> I mean, you guys are all, uh, you know, doing everything so perfect and I do everything backwards, you know, so I figured I might as well just go backwards. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Lauren. That great. Very good. Oh, yeah. It's really good. I'd like to do people in it. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. I'll add people. <laughs> so if there is no one else, then I just want to thank Jenny for tonight. It has been a very, very nice presentation and demo we really like this one i hope maybe we can see you in another time again yeah could be cool in person could be on zoom yeah. with... yep. yes i've never been to jacksonville i've been to orlando uh key west yeah yeah i haven't been to um, Jackson. yeah i look forward to get with everybody and if anybody comes to chicago like feel free to reach out and uh, feel free to reach out in general with any questions or you know you have my slide. <laughs> thank you that was a great yeah, presentation yeah thank really you enjoyed. presentation outstanding outstanding jenny thank you so much you're welcome in jacksonville anytime any we'll back everybody and thank you for my friends like joining from chicago and china i think i saw several of them yeah. Yes. Okay, everybody, I want to show you before you leave. I want to show you this orchid that's just going nuts for me. Check, can you? That's wow. beautiful. Look at wow, this Lisa. That's incredible. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh, she wow. Both sides. She's like huge. Whoa. Mine doesn't look like that. I bought it from the store and it looks horrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, thank okay. you. Yes. Thank you, Jenny, and thank you, everyone. And I will look for this um, recording on YouTube. We will be sharing yes. it there, OK? Yes. Mm -hmm. Jenny, awesome. thank you so much. It was so nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, me too. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Jenny, you. take care for sure. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful thank work. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. I am very inspired. Yeah. You've inspired Come visit me. us thank in you. Jacksonville. Yeah. Oh, well, yes. yeah. Okay, thank you and good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. 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 Take good care. Night. Thank you. Bye.